All right, so I figure while I'm out here, get that out of there. Figure while I'm out here, I'll do a video on this. And I don't know if we're going to get far enough to really produce cotton, but this is the cotton plant. All right, so this is what the cotton plant looks like. This is the leaf of the cotton plant. Get my big shadow out of the way. All right. And that's the leaf. I'm trying to get a good image so I can take a snapshot later. Okay, so that's the leaf. That's the plant. And it obviously goes a lot bigger than that. It, it's kind of funny. It really doesn't like certain soil conditions, cotton. It, I've tried growing it several times and never really had success. I haven't gotten too much bigger than this, per se, before. You know, you have to grow it by itself and feed it certain nutrients and certain soil. And, yeah, you'll get it to grow and flower. I don't think we're going to see any cotton flowers off of this this year. But, I mean, if we do, then that would be great. If not, no biggie, right? But I figured I'd show it to you and just share my uh, my cotton experience. If, I mean, if I get flowers from it, then we'll definitely do an update to it. If I don't get flowers, I'm not really going to be able to do an update and show you the cotton and how I can harvest the cotton. And eventually you could do it, everything else that you can do with cotton. But we need to get to that point. And I don't know if we're going to get to the cotton stage. It's still growing. still looks good. But it's just, it's a very, very slow growing plant. It's not in any rush. You really need to start this indoors and you really need to start it early. This plant needs to come out here in June or July, almost this size. That's the way this plant is. It doesn't do very good up here up north. Now, cotton in some states is actually illegal to grow or you need a license or registration to grow it. So don't buy cotton thinking you can grow it in your state and your like most places won't even sell you cotton. But there's ways to get cotton seed. I'm not going to tell you how to do it, but there's ways to get cotton seed outside of the law, outside of the agricultural laws. So if you're creative enough, you'll fit you'll figure it out for yourself. But your state may not legally allow you to grow cotton. So just double check with your state laws and see where you stand with that before you would want to grow this plant, but as you can see, you know, there's not much to say about it, but you can see down below by the stem over there. And it's woody stem on it. It gets woody. It's not like a, you know, soft stem type of plant. It gets woody. And it does get a lot taller than this. It's just, like I say, it it's not... This has really been a hard year for most plants. The weather has been absolutely cold at night been hitting the 40s now and that's really not good for a lot of these type of plants like the cotton is being affected the peppers are being affected and my okras so far are, aren't totally affected but yeah they're a little they might be getting affected as well so certain plants are affected by those temperatures so i don't know if we're going to get this to produce cotton but if i do I will definitely uh, do a video on it. Maybe you've got a bud coming up over there. I don't know. If we get a cotton bud on it, I'll do an update to it and link these videos together. All right? So just thought I'd share my little cotton plants. Okay. So here's the beginning of a cotton flower. If you've never seen cotton flower before, I'll try to get you in the right lighting here. That's the beginning of it, and it's making a little cotton ball in there. I'm trying to spread these apart a little bit. See the inside? That's your cotton flower, so we will see some cotton uh, by the end of the year. And that's where the seeds are. The seeds will be inside here. Hopefully it blooms. I'll be able to get a bloom shot of it. We'll be good to go. Now I'll make it a complete cotton plant video. But yeah, it's got a pretty good amount of flowers. You got one down here. You got one here. A couple more coming out. There's all kinds of calyx on this thing. Nice top. It's still growing healthy. It looks good. So I will update you once this opens up and blooms. And I'll show you what it looks like in a bloom. Be right back.
this is what the flower looks like as it's coming out of this little triangular shaped little pod thing it has. It gets this little center part that comes out and that makes the flower. I had a flower here yesterday that was ready, which is this one. And within a day, by the time I went out here to do this video, which is today, next day, uh, the flower's gone and dead already. So it's very hard to catch this flower up close so you can so you can see exactly what the flower looks like coming out of it but this is good because i should get a cotton ball out of one or two of these flowers this year and we can open them up and look at what cotton actually looks like as you're going through it but as you can see i got quite a few flower buds here a really cool looking flower buds on these things by the way isn't that totally cool they're just awesome looking they're really strange shaped and beautiful plant to actually grow even just for the beauty of it but I'm going to do my best to try to get a flower for you as it's you know as it's fully shaped the shape of it when it comes out it looks really really cool when once the flower is up and open and everything so I really want to show you that flower so hopefully I can get that and add that to this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one take care guys